no, don't use any of this. <laughs> Can you imagine? Don't use this. On every job, you it's like your first day of school and everyone's nervous and everyone's trying to figure out what the dynamics are and what you find is that like the director, for me, it sets the tone and you can always tell on a set if that, that director is just so loving and he cares about every aspect of it and but he trusts, that's the whole thing, is that he trusts like everything from the makeup department to camera department to the, to the, to the actors and you know people can bring forward their idea and it's collaborative. Um, but I think that as an actor, you never, well I feel like you never stop learning. You you go from like, if you're playing someone who is a struggling mom who, you know, works as a nurse, in the craft in that is actually the research that you do and you never stop learning. You never, you kind of like, you play like a really shit detective psychologist is what I feel like you are as an actor because you're trying you're trying to figure out why uh, an, a, a character or a, yeah why a character in a story does something you know you, that we're constantly asking why with trust it frees everything up and it can be with the the trust that you have with the director that the note that they have given you that you have to trust that that is the right Thing for the scene and what they also have to trust that what you might interpret or or take from that or do is the most truthful trustful thing that is right for this for the story but it's also you know you need to trust like everything every aspect of filming is like I need to trust the stunt artist that you know when I fall off there there's going to be a mat and I think that is the, that the trust comes when you open the dialogue it's almost like you need to trust that the person in the scene with you is is present in the scene with you and you're you know you're you're open to whatever it is that they're gonna they're doing and as long as you're both telling the same story and both on the same page it just frees everything up and that's where you get to play that's that's the idea of playing and that's when you get that that natural kind of magic that you see in a scene and I think that's what people when they say you know characters have chemistry it's like, you know, you see chemistry between two best mates and what, what you have with your best friend is that you can tell them your deepest, darkest secrets and they're not going to turn around and go, oh my God, I'm going to tell that to blah, blah, blah. And I think it's just, trust is like not being afraid to make a mistake. It's just your, it's, it's your moment where you take the story and you're making it yours. It's you're, you're owning, you're owning that moment in the in the story, like you take you take what the director has said, you take what the, the writer has written down, but in that moment it's yours. And then until they call, call a cut, and if they move on from then that, it's then the it's then the editors, it's their baby then, you know. And then after that, you know, it goes into post production, and it's their baby, and then you hand it over to the audience, and it's theirs. It's completely, you know, because I I always think it's it's interesting how. People say that like, like, oh no no you didn't, you didn't see you didn't see what I was doing there. You did, you know like you t you totally lost lo lost what I was doing in in that scene. But it's like it's not mine anymore. I did what was meant to be mine between action and cut. That was mine. It's the audience's now, and they can take from it whatever they want. It's their gift. No, you're not getting paid for the day. You're getting paid for the prep. That's what you're doing. The, the kind of you're doing the acting for free. Everything else is the work that you've you've done pre this whether you know it's learning the lines studying the script opening the dialogue with with the director with the writer or if you don't if or maybe if you don't have that but you know researching this character inside and out <clears throat> that's that for me and turning up on set but also what they don't teach you is that you might have done all of that and you know those lines inside and out and then they go we're not going to shoot that i've come up with something completely different and you go okay Okay, just, I think it's a craft of also letting it go and going, okay, cool, that's fine. But you have done the homework and so whatever they throw at you, you're going, okay, well, we're, we're not going to be shooting that scene and, and you know, that's not going to be the outcome, but it, that's the idea. It's like they've, they know what they're going to be shooting that day and you just have to trust that what they've decided is, is a better choice. But also, you know, come, come with choices. Come with, 
come with ideas. Don't turn up on set and wait for the director to kind of give you an idea. That's, you know, that's a part, that's you. <laughs> yeah. You could have imagined the whole scene being, you know, standing, pacing up and down in a room and you get there and they go, the cameras are already set up and you're sitting on a sofa for the whole thing and you go, oh no, well I had this idea that I was gonna, I was gonna pace up and down and, and I was gonna get really angry and then at that line I was gonna land in there and I was gonna look at him here and you can't do any of that because <laughs> we're actually, we're actually gonna shoot it completely different, we're gonna shoot in a swimming pool and you're gonna be swimming and you're like, interesting, okay, cool. Um, so I think it's just knowing your relationship to, to that scene and where that character is meant to be. Character choices as opposed to like action choices. Because, you know, uh, you know, blocking and everything changes everything, you know. And I think that's when people can kind of, kind of get, they get stuck and they get mechanical and the idea that they've already practiced it this way. And if you keep practicing one way and not exploring other ways, you, you can't be flexible. You spend so much time alone. This is a very lonely industry and I think it's that you're alone because you, you do all the research alone unless it's a collaborative thing. Um, and in that alone time, you can either be your best friend or your worst enemy. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather have my best friends sitting with me every, all day. And I want my worst enemy in the times when I'm, you know, being really hard on myself or being really critical about stuff that I do and I want someone there to kind of go, okay, yeah, cop on, get it. You, you kind of want like your, your big brother or your big sister to just kind of keep you grounded. And I think, I think it's just, be a lot, be a lot kinder to yourself because if you're kinder to yourself, you're gonna be kinder to other people and I think you're gonna be non-judgmental of the characters that you play and you're gonna be completely open and empathetic to them. The thing about filmmaking or theater or acting is it's meant to be fun and you know it, you should take the job seriously don't take yourself too seriously and you just be open to the idea that you know people are you're being very vulnerable on set both emotionally um you know you're giving yourself given giving a lot of yourself so i think it's just important to like not be hard on others and, and not take out how maybe you're feeling on a scene on someone else because they're just, everyone's just trying to do their job. And the reason why people are in this industry is because they want to be there. It's because it's fun. It's storytelling. It's play, we play pretend. We try and convince the audience that what we're saying is, is the truth. And yeah, I just think that when you don't need to bring any negativity onto set, we're not saving lives. Yeah. <laughs>